What up everybody, welcome back once again to the boys channel. You already know who it is, back with a brand new video. We got some interesting news we gotta talk about. I've been seeing this on at least one channel talk about it. I haven't seen anybody else talk about it. But as you can see from the top, Captain America, Brave New World, test screening reactions have not been good. Wolf movie sounds awful. So let's go ahead and get into this article and see what the deal is. But before we do, please hit that like and subscribe button. Your boy is on the road to reaching 1,500 YouTube subscribers. I'm one away, and my goal is to reach 2,000 watch time hours by the end of this year. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it and see what is up with the test screens because this movie has had a lot of money spent on it. Marvel Studios has held a couple of test screenings for Captain America Brave New World. And according to insiders, the movie did not go over well with test audience. Now, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't trust test audiences or even Rotten Tomatoes, no matter how good or how bad a movie is made out to be, because I want to see it for myself to see if it's as good or as bad as critics say. So continuing on, the negative responses from the very first test screenings for the movie prompted Marvel Studios to order extensive reshoots. So all the money went. Those reshoots took uh, those reshoots to place took place over four months with the studio hiring Moon Knight writer Matthew Orton to write some new scenes for the movie. But in this new round of test screenings, which took place last week, it doesn't seem like things have gotten any better. Two screenings were reportedly held, with attendees split into groups with either a green or red bracelet. An initial report from World of Real claimed that two cuts of the film were shown, but each screening could have also been for two different demographics. Regardless, the movie is described as in sensual and flat. Hollywood insider MTTSH has also heard from some people who attended the screening. Just heard back from like three people who went to see Captain America Brave New World test screening and woof movie sounds awful. Another report said Marvel held multiple test screenings of different cuts for a film in the past month. Main criticism is the use of the leader character in both. He's either too much or too little. Our cut seems to have Amadis Cho set up, set up in it for future projects. Consistent with high remark for Sam and President Ross. I've actually been looking forward to watching this movie, so it would be a bummer if Marvel ended up dropping the ball with it and delivering another mediocre Marvel movie. So, uh, continuing on, in the film, after meeting with newly elected U.S. President Thaddeus Ross, played by Harrison Ford in his Marvel Cinematic Universe debut, Sam finds himself in the middle of an international incident. He must uncover the reason behind a nefarious global plot before the true mastermind has the entire world seeing red. When previously talking about the film, Kevin Foggy said he's not I'm sorry, Kevin Foggy said he's looking to capture the same magic that they delivered in Captain America the Winter Soldier by leaning into the whole political thriller aspect of the story. Captain America Brave New World stars Anthony Mackie, Danny Ramirez, Shira Haas, Exocia Requamore. Carl Lumley with Gen Gennaro Esperito and sorry, I can't pronounce these names. Laugh, Tyler, Tim Blake, Nelson, and Harrison Ford. Um, the film is directed by Julius Onam and produced by Kevin Foggy and Nate Moore. Captain America Brave New World opens up in U.S. theaters on February 14th, 2025. Um, as you can see right there, uh, same caption from before. I gotta be honest with y'all, man. Um, I'm going to keep an open mind to it. I don't trust the test screenings. I don't trust what the critics have to say. I want to see it for myself to give them my own two cents. It's just crazy to me that all this money has been spent on this movie. And it could possibly be a dud. And, you know, Marvel has pretty much had a quiet year. I don't think there's been any movie outside of um, Wolverine and Deadpool that anybody has talked about. And then this one here is going to be the big one going into um, next year for uh you know the mcu i think they're currently in slate five i can't remember exactly but i'm really hoping that this movie does well a lot of people were hollering about marvel coming back marvel being back after they saw the last trailer so we're gonna have to wait and see exactly is marvel officially back 
And I'm not going to say anything about Marvel being back until I see the trailer. I'm sorry, until I see the movie for myself. But I do want to know what you all think. So please, post your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this article. I'm taking all this with a grain of salt. I don't care how many people talk about it. I'm taking it all with a grain of salt. So post your comments. Let me know what you all think. And I'll catch you on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. I'm out.